Hello everyone, uh, here I am with uh, Tom from Canberra and uh, we're here in Melbourne and uh, Tom's one of our consultants uh, in Canberra and travels a lot, Sydney. And um, you know, your place at home is shielded, but now you're on the road and you need a little bit, uh, little bit better I'm, sleep. I'm just sick of traveling and not sleeping well. Okay. Um, so yeah, I thought I'm in Melbourne, I'll call Patrick, see if he's got a canopy, which he did and he's brought it here to my friend's house and we're going to put it up. For tonight and then i'll travel with this canopy wherever i go so i can now stay in the cbd in melbourne or the cbd in sydney or even anywhere and know that that uh i can sleep well yeah yeah all right so maybe we'll take a quick measurement to see where the levels are Perfect. without the canopy and then we'll put it up and yeah measure after excellent cool all right let's get to work yeah. this is all right thing. You just, once you know, and you sleep, once you sleep well at home, like I can't pull, I thought I slept well, mm. but now I know I didn't. Mm. I thought, I actually thought I slept well. Mm. Yeah. You don't realize how good sleep can be. Mm. Like when wow. you shield your home wow. properly, it's amazing. You have good sleep. You, the night goes quickly mm -hmm. and mm. you wake up happy yes. and rested. Me and feeling like it's been mm. a quick night instead mm. of, mm. instead of thinking I've tossed and turned all night. Mm. I've had a good sleep, but I've, I've known every moment and every turn and Gee. you just don't know what good sleep is. Mm. Mm. I had a lady who, um, yeah. she said she woke, wake, wakes up early in the morning, like four o'clock every morning, has to go to the bathroom mm. and then she can never get back to sleep. Yeah. And when we turned the two electrical circuits off that were causing the electric field exposure, on those nights, when she gets up to go to the toilet, she can get back to sleep. Because yeah. they did sort of a, a test, you know, the husband would go to the circuit breaker panel yeah, and turn them off or not turn them off without the rest of the family knowing what he did. Mm. And on those nights when they were off, she could get back to sleep. Mm. Weird, isn't it? All right. All right, so we're not holding on to anything now. We can already hear, hear some noise on the speaker, so. Okay, maybe use your other hand so it's easier for us to see. Wow, that is potent, isn't it? All right, move it's your arm potent. around a little bit. See, so well over 4,000 microvolts. Can we crack five? <laughs> Let's get to five. Here we go. Oh, here While we, we got go. there. Right. <laughs> okay, yeah. so now th this stuff always varies because your exposure mm. is never is never constant, of course. So this number can go down, it can go up during the night. Um, but needless to say, it's potent, which is surprising given the location mm. here, we're surrounded by trees, but obviously there's... I wasn't expecting this at all. Yeah. yeah it's I was getting enough. out of the CBD to be in a quiet zone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so we got the uh, the canopy up just sort of temporarily. I mean, if you stayed somewhere long term, you do a much nicer job. Um, these canopies, uh, you've got the nice sort of edging, but it's actually a sleeve. So if you've got some, you know, some broomsticks, you know, or something along those lines, you could put stick those through it so it wouldn't sag, and you could just secure those uh, I think more permanently. Job. Yeah, I think it looks really <laughs> looks really nice. But anyway, we did. Uh, Okay, so we've got a couple of those easily removable sticky hooks. <clears throat> in hindsight, we would have put those in a little bit more of an angle so your cable doesn't slip off so easily. Uh, now, we are in a bedroom that's not on ground floor. Um, and we're on a bit of a slope in terms of the landscape. So we really should have had some fabric as well for underneath the bed. But of course, you know, if you're traveling, moving around, it's a bit hard to keep up. So... We're not expecting perfect readings in inside, but you know, there should be dramatically less. So uh, let's go and have a look. All right, you jump in, Tom. Uh, no. Funnily enough, I sort of have to go with you because that meter is really made to measure somebody else with. Okay. 
intimate moment here. <laughs> yeah, just watch it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's on YouTube. No, 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 no fooling around. <laughs> All right, so I've got the the uh, um, the door opening nicely lapping over. You see, there's a good 30, 40 centimeters, a good foot of overlapping. So that's great. And of course, my phone's on flight mode, just so everybody knows. All right, so hold on. That's pretty awesome. That's less than I expected. It is, especially with the floor not showing. Yeah. I mean, normally with these sorts of readings, you'd like, you'd love to be under a hundred. Mm. Ideally, under thirty would be awesome. So if we change the body shape, that does change a little bit. Yeah, compared to five thousand. That's awesome, eh? Yeah. And it's also much more quiet. Lovely. All right. Well Job done. well done. Thank you, Patrick. Good night. I'm going to sleep well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jen, can you turn the lights off? Yeah. yeah. Good night. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs>